Hello everyone, Brandon here. I'm sitting with a buddy of mine, Corey Andresiak. Hey, what's up? Uh, um, Corey is going to be putting me through my very first physique style based workout and uh, back, right? Yeah. Back. All right, cool. Uh, yeah. All right, well, before we get into the whole backstory and everything, uh, I just have one question. Uh, is there deadlifts in it? Uh, rat pulls. We got some rat pulls. Fucking physique, guys. Rat, rat pulls. <laughs> I'm just rat pulls and lots and <laughs> lots of rowing. All right, okay, that's good. Good. Now, uh, a little backstory on Corey. He is a physique competitor. Uh, been doing it since uh, 2015. Yeah, 2015. Yeah, and uh, I guess in, in physique you said they don't have weight classes, but you usually you bounce anywhere between 185 and 200 in that, in that area. Uh, for me personally, that was my weight, yeah. Okay. Uh, it's more goes by height. Height. Height, yeah. Okay, height. And... Yeah. So, All I, right. so since I'm 6'1", mm -hmm. I was always in uh, D, D, which was 5'11 and up. Oh, okay. All right, okay, that's... I didn't, I didn't know that at all. Okay, and um, Corey, uh, physique comp uh, co physique co competing, that's, uh, it's like bodybuilding, but it's more like, uh, how would you describe it? Like? It's just, yeah, it t essentially it is, except it's more of like the model look, always having a smile on your face, uh, okay. even when like flexing movements, mm -hmm. uh, you're in the board shorts, like more of like the beach body look. All right. Yeah. Okay, and... Uh, geared towards the aesthetic side of it yeah yeah all right and this workout uh like the whole rep schemes and everything like ho like how many reps are we doing and how many sets like usually we are sorry i'm just mixing my pre-workout we are doing uh four sets everything four sets of everything okay and cool. the whole idea of today is just gonna be a lot a lot of rowing for the thickness in the back okay and lots of everything's gonna be controlled a lot of control movements a lot of negatives Negatives? Yeah, a Shit. lot of negatives, a lot of control movements. Pauses or just really uh, slow movements? Both. Damn Both. it. We're going to we're gonna, we're gonna have some fun today. We're going to have some fun. <laughs> we're going to have a crazy pump. We're going to have some crazy fun. All right, okay, cool. And we're going to mix... Uh, uh, we're going to throw around a lot of weight. Oh, All right, okay. I'm excited and kind of scared. Um, oh, uh, also... You you were just uh, sponsored by. Da I was. I was. Yeah, by a company uh, from the states, da Das Labs. Yeah. Or das, das Labs, whatever. Das Labs, Das Labs. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. And they just sent you the, your uh, your first sample of uh, the pre-workout you're gonna be uh, representing, right? Oh, fucked up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's a whole different kind of thing. <laughs> uh, bucked up, right? Yeah, bucked up. Bucked up. Please tell me you brought it. I did. Yeah. Can I try some? You bet, man. All right, let me check this shit out. Here you go. All right, bucked up for so. If any of my subscribers or friends out there like hunting, might as well get this shit. Um, so it's Corey. Corey, C O R E Y, twenty saves you twenty percent off. Shit. How fast did you get this? Like, uh, the shipping was it? Because you were just sponsored, like, what on Friday or was it Thursday of last week? Yeah, we yeah, had Wednesday, Thursday. Shit, yeah. that was fast. It comes, then. It, comes, it comes fast. No. Okay. So I'm it's very good excited for to be a part of it. Focus, very excited to be a part of this pump, company. strength, growth. Uh, six grams of citrulline are in here. Yeah, uh, full clinical dose of citrulline malate in there. Okay. Is that so? That's like good shit. I've never even heard of that word before in pre-workouts. Yeah. Oh yeah. Citrulline malate. It's gonna help the. Like we're gonna have some crazy pump. It's gonna help us with the pump today. <laughs> we're right. gonna need it today. All right. Cool. And okay, I'm actually really liking this. Uh, main ingredient, I'm guessing, is uh, gains. I don't know if you could see that. Hopefully, it's not mirrored. But yeah, all right. <laughs> blood Raz. All right, I'm gonna try this shit out. The Blood Raz is my favorite flavor. Okay. It's more of like uh, a cherry tart. Cherry, cherry tart flavor. I just cherry. mixed up. I just mixed up watermelon in mine. What other flavors do they have? They have watermelon. Watermelon. Blood raz. Peach mango. Blood Raz. Oh God, that one's amazing. Uh, that one's pretty good. Uh, mm -hmm. And then, what is it? Blue Raz. Yeah. And then we've also got a uh, limited time right. flavor coming. Limited time flavor. Shit. Yeah, a limited, a limited time flavor coming out. Okay. All right, and uh, so, so stay tuned for that. All right, and uh, all this stuff, uh, your your uh, discount code and everything is on your Instagram. Yep. 
All right. Okay. So I'll be posting his uh, Instagram page and uh, his code and uh, Das Labs. Das Labs. I, I gotta figure out this fucking how to say this right. But I'll be posting their uh, information on the uh, inscription below. Wait, let me see. Oh my God, that smells amazing. Yeah, it, yeah, it even smells good too. It's good shit. All right. Okay, well, we're going to head inside. Ready to kill it or what? Stay tuned for some uh, workout footage. I'm gonna, Just to be honest, I'm going to out-angle you because this is my channel, so I have to be the bigger <laughs> one. <laughs> All right, everyone, stay tuned. So here we did rack pulls. And I can deadlift near 500 pounds, but this was actually a struggle. I mean, it was only 225 but I had to focus on keeping the lats back and then shooting the hips through. I, it was burning a lot more than like a regular deadlift would. But overall, it was a really yeah, good pump. Go. And then we supersetted with as many wide uh, half pull-ups as possible. Here you'll see Corey showing off with his little 200 pound ass pull-ups, but yeah, I'm de I was definitely Murrin here. Myron? Murrin? Whatever. So, I, f I found out... I've done all these exercises in this workout before, but I've n I noticed that... Well, Corey noticed that I always have my, my traps flexed, so I take it away... So it takes away from my mid-upper back. See, like his shoulders are down. Watch, you'll notice how mine is just like that. So here... This, I've never done these before, like, like while shooting your hips forward. And I kept struggling to keep my chest up. It's, I don't know, it's a, a mental right, block for me, if you will. Um, I guess I I've never done anything from a physique's point of view. Like, yeah, I've just lifted heavy weight and I thought my, te I thought my technique for exercises were like, were like totally fine, but I guess it wasn't work. It wasn't good for like bodybuilding, like, like physique in a way. I mean, here's Corey, and see, traps are lowered, chest shoots up, total control. Here, I'll, I'll just let you girls watch this and get a little wet. <laughs> Here we did stationary T-bar rows. Now this is a classic movement that I've done probably, I, I do, I alternate it every four weeks, chest down. but I've always had my chest up. So I went into this exercise is all cocky, but then for this one, to get that inner mid back along the spine, chest down, and then uh, throughout the whole workout, we, ha we were doing uh, negative, like, uh, I think three or four second negatives, you know, and then pulling it up as as fast as you could, and then uh, that's how the workout was. A lot of pauses. So we did this for this one. We did uh, ten with uh, overhand, and then ten a with uh, like a hammer grip. And uh, oh, but for the hammer uh, hammer grip, you had to uh, keep your chest up for that one. And yeah, you see, like I keep shrugging my traps, and oh, it's just. The meathead in me keeps oh, making me do back. that. Mid back, mid back. It's a little confusing, but overall, I've n I don't think I've ever actually worked the upper mid back in my life. Like I've worked my traps before, obviously. So if you see, you could actually see uh, Corey's uh, muscles here, uh, and you could see like his mid back actually like crunch and everything. And then his traps like pretty much stayed neutral, so all the tension is just like it is uh just below that. Here, watch. See, total control. All the contraction is in the upper mid back. Then we jumped onto some pull downs. This was, uh, what we had to focus on for this was uh, 
not locking the arms out and just uh, engaging the lats and back oh and also just a little something that i i've never done before uh we had to focus on keeping our wrists cocked like if you could see he's got the, the double overhand thumb on the outside grip and it's just like keeping the forearms flexed and it was just little th little things like that to change everything up really makes this exercise that much harder so yeah see and oh elbows all the way out to the sides so it's pretty much in a straight line yeah so three to four second uh, negative C pulling all the way down to about four inches just above the chest pauses oh this workout really kicked my ass and then we did my very favorite cable t-bar rows so you see Corey here so for this one I didn't like the bar attachment that we were using <clears throat> it was I don't know I, my, my grip kept slipping for some reason like see uh, Corey is like going here and his hands are, stay at the top the whole time but yeah this one I was totally fine with I was this is probably the exercise I was most comfortable doing my my traps were actually staying down the whole time chest was up except for the last probably two reps but yeah see the bar is starting to slip downward so I was kind of freaking out I didn't want to let it go but I wanted to finish my set here because I think we did 12 or 10 reps for this last set God, it was a good Over workout. Over there, that mid -back. So overall, my very first physique style based workout was awesome. Uh, my, it's a day later. My back, it's, I don't know, like just to move my shoulders back, it just feels tight and tense as hell. But it's good. It's a good burn. It's a good hurt. Cried myself to sleep last night. Just kidding. But overall, uh, but yeah, so I'll be putting Corey's information in the section below. Um, oh, I, I ended up uh, actually ordering myself some of that pre-workout bucked up. Mm. So I'll let you guys know when I get it. Uh, hopefully it's next week. I mean, it's Friday today. So, or well, we worked out yesterday on Thursday. So I'll let you guys know if it actually follows up to its word about like getting here pretty quick. But, uh, yeah, bucked up. Um, oh, uh, Corey also mentioned that he's uh, thinking about getting his own channel started to uh, uh, to show his prep. He's, I think, six and a half weeks out from his uh, classic physique competition. It's uh, here in Winnipeg, Manitoba. It'll be pretty good. Um, maybe I'll, I'll do another collab with him soon just to show you guys... Uh, his, his progression and everything and oh uh the difference between physique physique and then classic physique is just the shorts uh, physique physique is when it's board shorts that go all the way to the knee classic physique is when it's kind of like just like uh boxers probably a little bit higher than mid uh mid quad you know so it should be pretty good Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, like the video, uh, leave a comment if you want to see more videos of like me doing collabs with people, or if anyone wants to do a collab, let me know. I charge a fee though, you have to pay my walk-in. I'm just kidding, actually, give me pre-workout, there it is, boom! Damn, I'm good looking.